field. It's time for kickoff. And it's the birth of a new club as we're underway in draft champions. This will be taken in at the one. And he will be marked down right there at the 20-yard line. They'll come out in the pistol. And a first carry here for Charles Sims. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. It should go without saying that anytime you run the football well and gain a nice chunk of yardage, that means the offensive line did their job and did it really well. But let's give them a little more credit than that. Because all week long, offensive line meetings, they're going over adjustments, counters, when they with the line shifts, all those things that go along with it. And yet, you still have to be physical. And that's what they did on the first play. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It's a four-yard pickup. And just like that, it's third down. Right, I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> Obviously, they didn't get everything they wanted on that completion, but they put themselves in a spot where you've got to at least think about going for it. I know where we are on the field, but still, you've got to think about it, don't you? They'll run it with Sims. Call it a gain of five. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. Man, you talk about a coach setting the tone on the first drive of the ball game. On his own side of midfield, he says, forget it, punting unit. We're going for it. And his guys are able to get him a first down. Here we go. They'll run it again with Sims. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. And that's the type of play that will fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. And he's brought down. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Now a play fake here on first down. Rolling to his left. And this one's incomplete. One of his main targets, Delaney Walker, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all Here over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. So out now is the Seattle field goal team. From the right. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. I know coaches always tell us that they make decisions about these types of plays, this type of a fake, earlier in the week to take the emotion out of the deal. I don't know that that was really true here. This one felt like all of a sudden, hey, I feel the feeling about it. Let's go ahead and get it. And it just didn't work. Yeah, I know one thing. They wish they had it back. Yeah, they certainly do. But the buck stops with the head coach on that one. He has to green light that attempt. On second down, here's Simeon. The grab made by Curse over the middle. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. So completion on second down, that brings up third. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rashad Jones. 